Hi everybody, I'm Oliver from Lentus.com. Some tutorials ago we talked about creating and transforming objects. In this one we will introduce the edit mode for editing the objects and in the case covered by this tutorial for modeling. First thing you need to know is that an object is some kind of container in Blender and inside it you will find sub-objects. In the case of a model, the sub-objects will be vertices, edges and faces. If the object is an armature, it will contain bones and joints and so on. For modifying these sub-objects, you will need the edit mode. Ok, so here I have a plane. Ok, we are right now on the object mode. And let's see how to enter in the edit mode. Right here, uh, we can select the mode in which uh, we are working right now. Uh, as you can see, it's an object mode. So, click on here and select edit mode. Ok? and here you have the vertices and all that now let's go again to the object mode and let's see the shortcut by pressing tab once we enter in the edit mode and pressing it again we go back to the object mode okay when you are in the edit mode you can select here the vertices and you can change the type of sub objects you want to select for example here you can uh, select them like vertices, edges, and faces. Okay, so the type of subobject you have here selected is the type of subobject you will be able to select on the viewport. All right. So here you can see I'm selecting edges, and now vertices. There is a cool thing, and is that uh, by pressing Shift and clicking another one, we can select more than one type of subobject at the same time. For example, here I have vertices and edges okay this is very cool now by pressing control and tab we can select quickly the type of sub objects I want to select right I'm working with vertices but now control tab and switch to edges okay it's very useful control and tab let's take a look to the modeling tools uh, once we are in the edit mode, here on the left toolbar, we have some uh, modeling options like extrude, subdivide, loop cut, spin, screw. We are going to see right now uh, some of them, okay, the most important or the most useful. But uh, I recommend you to try them all out so you can see what happens. Okay, now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to subdivide this uh, a couple of times so we have more faces and, and vertices to work with. Okay, so let's go to the face mode, select the face, or just press A for uh, selecting everything. Okay, and now we can go here and press subdivide, or we can press W and go to the specials. Okay, here I'm going to show you now. Uh, some shortcuts for accessing to the modeling tools. Okay, so W are some special options. Remove doubles. This is when we have uh, two vertices on the same position, but we maybe don't know where they are. Uh, we can remove them. They are welded, or some things like uh, shade smooth or shade flat, uh, a group of faces, and well, a lot of cool things. Now, uh, with Control E, we access to the edges tools. Control F, uh, access to the faces tools, and Control V to access to the vertices tools. Okay. Also, you can access uh, all that options from here from the mesh menu, and here you have normals, faces, edges, and vertices. Okay. So. Once we know this, uh, let's press here subdivide, and we see the the face have been divided. Okay, here on the operator menu, we can uh, increase the number of subdivisions we have for this face. Okay, something like this should be enough. Okay, maybe less. Okay, now press A again for deselecting everything. And now let's see some little tricks to select and uh, transform sub-objects. So, you know, by uh, right-clicking over a sub-object, 
it will be selected. Okay, now I'm on vertices, but it works also with edges and with faces. Okay, by pressing shift you can select uh, more of them. And now the the tricks. Okay, by pressing B, we'll have this cross here, and you will box select everything inside it. Now by pressing C, you will have this little brush here and with the mouse wheel you can increase or decrease the size of that circle and with it you can paint the selection this is very cool press uh, right click for exiting that mode A again for deselect and now by pressing control and dragging with the left mouse button we can make a lasso selection okay this is pretty cool now, another thing is that you can uh, select uh, single vertices or you can select entire loops okay, by pressing Alt while uh, right clicking on an edge. Okay? The same applies for edges and for faces is slightly similar but it also works. Okay? Now for vertices, you can select also uh, rings. Okay, here is uh, a loop, and now I can select a ring by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and right click. Okay, the same for edges. Here you have a loop, and here a ring. All right. This can be useful, for example, for uh, subdivide this. Okay, like this. Okay, now you can add uh, loops to the selection, of course, uh, by pressing Alt and now Shift Alt and adding another loops to the selection. For moving, rotating, and scaling things, uh, the same rules as for moving objects applies. Okay, so you can rotate vertices. You can scale them or you can grab them. Right? You can as always activate the manipulators or with G press X, Y or C to attach the selection to a single uh, axis. Okay, so if you don't know uh, how to do this, uh, you can take a look at the creating and transforming objects tutorial. I did some weeks ago, right? Another interesting thing overall for organic models is the uh, soft selection. Okay, you can uh, activate it by pressing O, or you can go here and select enable. Okay, here you have the type of soft selection. Okay, normally a smooth is good enough and now if you select and grab a vertex, a vertex or a subobject uh, it will smooth the adjacent subobjects and with the mouse wheel you can change the effect the range of effect it has okay as you can see okay and here you have it this is very interesting when adjusting uh, some vertices, positions, and things like that in organic models, like characters and things like that. Okay, and now let's see how the tools work. All right, uh, one of the most common uh, tools used in modeling is the extrusion. Okay, you can extrude by going here and pressing extrude region and extrude individual. We're going to see now. Uh, the difference between them or you can just uh, press the the key E right E to extrude okay I have a soft selection activated let's disable it and now we can uh, scale it down and make some extrusions like this 
right now the difference between stood region and stood individual okay um, by the way uh, stood region is the E key and stood individual is shift and E okay so stood region we are going to select a group of faces and with E we're going to stood them all together right but with the stood individual shift E they will be stood by separate okay so now we can select them all go here change the pivot point to uh, individual origins scale them and here you have the effect right let's do the same with all this to show you another feature shift E like there more or less and now select this scale it down and here there is an option very interesting option which is repeat last okay so the last action you have done like moving scaling or studying will be saved in a buffer and you can repeat it uh, just after it so now I have scaled this down and I can go here repeat last and it will repeat exactly the same operator okay just let few of them and the, sh the shortcut for this option is shift R it's very interesting now as you can see I can stood this select all these ones shift R and they will be stood exactly the same amount this is very interesting now more tools well we have here let me stood this so attaches to the Y axis, press control to attach it to, to, to the grid, make a snap. And now we have the loop cat tool. Loop cat and slide let us uh, cut a ring and add a loop to the faces. Okay, so we can press control R, which is the, the shortcut, and depending on where we have the the, the cursor positioned it will mark us the new loop that will be created here for example and now by click without releasing the, the mouse button we can slide it to, to place it right now okay and if we play, press now uh, the right button it will be uh, placed just in the middle okay pressing control R and just clicking will place it in the middle and now another cool thing is that uh, without uh, pressing even the jet the mouse button with the mouse wheel we can uh, increase or decrease the number of divisions that this tool will be uh, making to the to the faces okay so now here we go let's select a few of these faces and let's take a look at the knife tool the knife tool is the K and uh, without releasing the the button key we're going to drag the left mouse button and here you have the cut okay by pressing shift and K the cuts will be snapped to the middle of the of the edges okay so this is more precise okay if we do something like this for example it will, it will it will sorry it will be cut just in the middle so it's pretty cool now uh, the strusion has another uh, use and is that we can extrude by press but press right now uh, the right mouse button and we have now 
uh, here is some repeated vertices in the same position okay here you can see it but selecting now these faces and scaling them down let's put the pivot point medium medium point again and scaling this down we will have now little faces uh, inside these ones okay can select these vertices here and scale them so we have a rounded uh, faces here you can select these ones X for the lead subobjects and we can select now the type of subobject we want to uh, delete so in this case faces for edges the extrusion works the same way just press E and C for attaching to, to that axis and just keep shooting let's see now the merge option okay by pressing alt M or it should be here to merge here we have it we can select uh, at center at cursor and collapse let's see the difference between them so if we select two vertices it works the same with edges and all that stuff uh, pressing alt M selecting uh, collapse well, collapse we're going to see it later at center will uh, merge that vertices on the center of the selection now at first we'll uh, merge the vertices at the first selected vertice and at last we'll merge them at the last selected vertices Now at cursor, we'll of course uh, merge them at the uh, cursor position, but collapse work in a pretty different way, and it will be merging uh, individual groups of subobjects. For example, if we select these eight vertices at center, we'll merge all the vertices on the center point of the selection, but collapse will merge them separately by groups okay so this is very uh, interesting for this case for example collapse and we can use the same selecting faces like this alt M collapse here we have it of course we can select again all this press shift R for repeat the last action and they will be collapsed same for this select the entire loop by pressing alt and right click alt M collapse okay more interesting uh, tools are for example the creating faces so delete these faces for example and now selecting four vertices just select three for now pressing F will create a face between them okay in this case it's a triangle because we just selected three vertices but if we select four of them it will create a, a four-sided polygon the same works with edges selecting two opposite vertices uh, edges sorry and pressing F it will create a face in that position this is very useful because we can for example go to the top view and we can make something like this go extrusion okay extrusion this way and here uh, there is another tip uh, we can for making extrusions we can uh, position the mouse the cursor on the position where we want to extrude that uh, subobject press control and left click and it will be extruded to that position and now selecting the edges like this will let us create these faces 
now let's move these updates. Okay, pretty interesting. And finally, uh, some more tools. Let me select, for example, edge slide. We can select an edge, and with edge slide, here we have it. We we'll just go to the Control E menu, and here we have edge slide. And now dragging the cursor, we'll slide that edge between the two adjacent edges. There we go. Let me see more options. Fill, shade smooth. Well, these are pretty advanced. Let me see for the edges. Well, we can rotate the edge. Okay. Clockwise or counterclockwise. This could be pretty interesting in some cases. And here you have. Uh, the options for selecting edge loops and that stuff but uh, we can select them by pressing alt and right click so there is no problem and for the vertices there are several more uh, options for example rip rip will uh, detach that vertex from the okay will duplicate the vertex and make a hole in the mesh this can be useful sometimes because, for example, we can rip it. Shortcut is B. Depending on the uh, side we have the cursor positioned, will be uh, rip it to one side or the another. Okay, let me merge this at the last position. Okay, so let the vertex and pressing B from this side, as you can see, will work the opposite as selecting B from this side or from here okay so you know that and now between this we can add a face okay so we created here a quite interesting uh, topology uh, this is another trick uh, when having two vertices uh, that we have to make them be a plane okay we can select the scale just in the C axis for example in this case and write down zero and now we have them in a plane position okay so this like this now this face can be extruded and we have some interesting topology created. Okay, as you can see, there are a few, uh, well, a few, <laughs> a lot of options to experiment with and for modeling. And in future tutorials, we are going to see how to sculpt because for organic modeling, it's very, very powerful uh, combined with these methods. Okay, let me see if there is something more. Well, the spin spin option is very cool too because uh, for example I'm going to select this face here go to the front all the side view and uh, position the cursor the, the 3d cursor right here shift s cursor to grid okay and now let's click spin Spin, as you can see, rotates the selection, extruding it around the 3D cursor. Okay, so uh, place the 3D cursor before before doing the spin, and then spin it around. But now we can go here to the operator menu and select the number of steps, for example, and the degrees. It rotates around the cursor this for example more steps and here we have some more options to uh, modify the position uh, of the 3d cursor internal so it will change the 
rotation of the spinning. Okay, so it's a very interesting tool. And well, I think uh, more or less uh, the most general uh, features are covered here. Exit in the edit mode right now. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use all these techniques to model some common objects and well then we can render them so uh, in the next tutorial objects modeling so this is all for now see you soon and happy blending